Welcome back to another tutorial on shebang modules for VCV Rack. Today I'm going to be making a, an ambient patch kind of inspired by Brian Eno type ambients, I guess. And I'm going to be focusing on using Neutronode. Um, so uh, let's begin. I'm going to start with a, a triangle here. Actually, let's get rid of this. Use that later. And um, for I'm going to use a triangle for its kind of soft harmonics. And rather than using VCV Rack's uh, uh, envelope generator, I'm going to use Bogue Audio. And let's see, ADSR. And they have a really nice one. Let's see, it's AD. So it's just attack and decay. And these these outputs are only outputting triggers where if you um yes uh, if you look at the vcv rack one you actually need to input a gate so um i want it to actually ramp up slowly and ramp down slowly and that's uh, as far as i know that's um maybe there's a way to get around that for this envelope but all it really does is trigger it and then uh, and then decays so I'm using this one which will uh, create kind of an automatic uh, it'll trigger the the envelope shape um, so I'm gonna set the attack to two and a half seconds the decay or release if you will to three seconds and uh, let's see oh I'm gonna add a VCA here Um, the envelope's going to control that, and I'm going to make it linear, yes. This trigger's going to go here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. This is going to go in. Okay, that's nice. And notice though, if I if I switch it to a, a, a fast attack, um, let's listen to that. It doesn't really have the same effect. So uh, I'm going for a slow thing here, and I'm going to make both of these or both. Of, I'm going to make this envelope linear, and I'm going to make this uh, VCA linear. Because if it's exponential, it, it kind of ramps up quickly and, and ramps down quickly, and I don't want that. So, let's add, let's add some filtering here. Let's go in here. I can go in there. And I'm going to have the envelope control the frequency for this filter. So it'll follow the same shape. So as the volume goes up, the brightness should go up, or the filter should, the filter frequency will go up and include more harmonics. Now let's add a reverb. That's pretty nice. Let's start moving it around. Thank you. 
Now another thing I'm going to do is is add my module Photron, which is basically just some like an animation here, which we can add. Uh, let's move it over here, so we can kind of have this as our visualization, and. Um, I can actually plug in voltage here to this bottom input and it'll give it a target color to flock to and, th and this this whole thing always does like color flocking and let's see so let's turn this back on I'm gonna put uh let's keep it from moving And in order to figure out which uh, pitch this is uh, flocking to or, or targeting, <clears throat> I'm going to add a scope here. And the Photron, th this input only takes one channel. So it's only channel zero, the very first one. Or channel one, I guess I should say. Um, so in order to see what that is, we're going to put a split right here. And this is going in here. So channel one, we can see what pitch it is. And the volts correspond to, or a scale corresponds to a color spectrum. So uh, if you place the note C or zero, zero volts, it's going to give you red. And that seems to be correct here since we're getting zero volts in the scope and we're getting red here. Um, and if, let's move this down here. It's going to move around a little bit more. There we go. Now we're getting some new colored targets. Thanks for watching.